Hi, everyone. Let's take a look at number 14 on page 39. Determine the root values of a, b, and c for the quadratic function f of x equals to ax squared plus bx plus c, where a cannot be 0. That satisfy the conditions f of 0 equals to 0. The limit of f of x as x is approaching to 1 is 5. And the limit of f of x as x is approaching to negative 2 is 8. Step 1. If you look at this piece of information that's given to you, f of 0 equals to 0, what that means is you can go back and plug in x to be 0. So the fact that f of x is given to you as ax squared plus bx plus c, this means when you plug in x to be 0, that's going to be a times 0 squared plus b times 0 plus c. So now, when you solve for c, c equals to 0. Step 2. I'm going to draw a line in the middle, divide this into two different columns. They also gave you the fact that the limit of f of x equals to different numbers depending, for, uh, depending on the x values. So in the first column, I'm going to write down the fact that the limit of f of x as x is approaching to 1 equals to 5. In the second column, the limit of f of x as x is approaching to negative 2, that equals to 8. So this implies, if you start with the first column, that when you plug in x to be 1, this equals to 5. So 5 equals to a, and again x is 1. So 1 squared plus b times 1. Now technically there's a c value, but we know it's going to be 0. I'm just going to add that in for the sake of the mechanical steps, but this implies that 5 equals to a plus b. And we're going to come back to this in a moment. Likewise, if you look at the second column, you plug in x to be negative 2, and this equals to 8. So a times negative 2 squared plus b times negative 2. Again, there is a c value, which we have found. That's going to be 0. So this implies that a equals to 4 times a minus 2b. You can divide the left-hand side and the right-hand side by 2. So 4 equals to 2a minus b. Now, if you compare them, this goes back to grade 10 academic math. There are two equations of two unknowns. You can solve them by elimination. So I copy the first one underneath the second one. And again, if they're opposite, you add. And if they're uh, like terms, you subtract. So right now, the goal is I want to eliminate b. And because one says negative b, the other one says positive b, I'm going to add them. 4 plus 5 is going to give you 9. 2a plus a is going to give you 3a. This means the opposite of multiplying by 3 is to divide by 3. So a equals to 3. If you plug it back in, and it could be any equation, uh, if I plug it back into 5 equal to a plus b, and I solve for b, b equals to 2. So it's a final statement. Therefore, a equals to 3. b equals to 2. c equals to 0. Just like that. I hope this makes sense.